Hello and welcome to Upstage News. I'm your host, Jordan Roll. Today we're taking a deep dive into the rise of South Asian a cappella on the collegiate scene. My guest is a second year student at the University of Pennsylvania. He's currently the business manager for a group many of you may have seen on Pitch Perfect 2, Pen Masala. If you think singing a cappella is hard, this group does it in over 12 different languages. Please welcome my first guest, Sachit Ghali. So as the first ever South Asian a cappella fusion group kind of of your style, could you describe your genre for me? Definitely. So what our genre means as the first South Asian a cappella group is we truly bring the fusion of different musical elements from both music originated here in the West, and that means pop music, jazz music, any kind of music, and music that's oriented from South Asia. So some of that music includes Bollywood music um, that has Hindi language, and some of it also includes more regional languages, so languages spoken in different parts of South Asia. As one of our best known competitors, famous from Pitch Perfect 2, what was really the story behind the group becoming a part of that movie? It all really started when it was founded in 1996. There were four guys, all South Asian descent. They went to the Performing Arts Showcase Night at the University of Pennsylvania. They couldn't find any groups where they could really showcase their culture and their music interests. They decided, you know what, why not just start our own group? Then 25 years later, here we are. Pen Masala is one of the leading South Asian a cappella groups, and we're so thankful for that vision created by the founders. In this competition, we actually have five South Asian a cappella groups. Pen Masala, there's Rog, we also have Tufan, Swaram, and Hum. Seeing as Pen Masala was the first, where, where do you think your place is? Yeah. South Asian a cappella brings in the sounds and cultures of South Asia, of course, and by combining it with Western music, you really create a unique product. And that's why I'm so excited to see more and more South Asian a cappella groups popping up and competing in competitions like this one. Where do your tours generally go? Do you do like regional stuff or kind of pick them out and, and then route them together? Or is it more of a process where you just uh, call upon who's, who's looking for a show at that time? So this past uh, spring before coronavirus, we toured Georgetown University, Duke University, uh, University of Michigan, a couple other colleges, and really focused on basically what they wanted from us. Um, they reached out to us and we were able to create those performances. And then in addition to that, we typically do a tour in India every few years. We were actually planning to tour India this summer if it weren't for COVID. And there we hit the major cities like Mumbai, Delhi, um, and we really go to each of the, the big cities and perform for big crowds there. When you tour India, how is your music received there? Yeah, we are so lucky to have such a large fan base in India itself, actually. Um, in fact, when we go to India and do these tours, we're always amazed by the crowds that come and by the amount of support that we get. And actually, um, the, emo the excitement and support is even more when we do go to India because it is a more you know, rare event for us to be able to go there. So when we do go there, we are really blown back by the support and uh, the turnout that we receive. All right, here we are towards the end. What is your latest project and what is your greatest project that you've been involved with with Pen Masala? So our latest project is a collaboration with Bollywood composer Vishal Dadlani. We created an original piece with him to bring more awareness and raise funds for migrant workers in India impacted by coronavirus. And one of the greatest projects I've been involved in while, I was, while I've been a member at Pen Masala is a music video called United by Music, a Desi regional medley. It was a music video where we had all of our members singing different segments of different songs in different languages within India. As you may know, India has uh, dozens and hundreds of different regional languages. So in that video, we tried to showcase as many as we could in that in those few minutes. And it was really an amazing opportunity for us to learn more about different cultures and languages inside South Asia and to showcase that. So that was a very exciting project for us and we're really excited by the attention it received as well. That's really fascinating. Not only is it a fusion of West and Asian culture, it's, it's a fusion of different Asian cultures within it. Thank you again for tuning in to Upstage News. I'm Jordan Roll. See you next time.